Welcome back, everybody. We're going to be talking about an opportunity for you to go to Zoo Boise completely free this weekend. We're going to get to that in just a second. And joining us this morning are Liz Littman and Shona Michael from Zoo Boise. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. You brought a special friend as well who's also from the zoo. Before you freak out and wonder if this is going to go viral because I'm going to get sprayed on the air, I understand, Shona, that can't happen with Figaro, right? He has been decented. <laughs> okay. We use him a lot at the zoo for encounters and programs, and so, so yes, he, does, can't, he doesn't spray. Does that mean he's one that, that children can actually pet and, and get to see up close during the encounters? When we have him out, yes. We bring him out, and there is an opportunity usually to be able to touch him. Is, is, is yes. it okay? I and mean, he doesn't get nervous or anything, no. does he? He's no. very, very soft. I mean, softer than most dogs, I'd say. Really, he is that's amazing. Soft. Now, obviously, everybody knows the scenting is their biggest defense, which he can't do. Do they have other methods? Methods to, to protect themselves, especially, you know? It's a lot visual. The black and white is a warning. That's okay. a natural warning that a lot of other wild animals understand. That's really? a warning color. Stay away from okay. me. That can be dangerous. He'll fluff up. He'll look bigger. He'll hold his tail way high as a warning all before he's ever going to spray. Wow. And is it true? I've heard that they, like, stand on their front legs when they do spray. Is a that few true? A few of the smaller species of skunk. He can't really do that. But the little spotted skunks, they do that. Oh, they're spotted skunks. I didn't yeah. even know that. I picture him, you know, and, uh, what, Pepe Le Pew yes, from the cartoons, is, yes. right? <laughs> this is definitely the most, the most common known one, yes. Oh, wow. Well, it's so, and he's very mellow. Are they usually like that too? They're, they're pretty calm, oh, especially as they get older. We've had a lot of animals on Good Morning Idaho. I don't think we've ever had a skunk before. But uh, Liz Littman, you are uh, one of the communications directors there. We want to talk about uh, people getting a chance to come see Figaro because tomorrow, yeah. something special going on, right? Yeah, it's wild at heart, which means free admission all day long. For everybody? For everybody. Oh, well, that's super easy. One of our two free admission days every year. And so what I what's going on? What are the events that are planned for the free admission Well, day? we're going to give special Valentine's Day enrichments to all the animals at the zoo, and people can come and make out Valentine's for their family favorite animals okay. if you want. Um, it'll be face painting, photo op, and also just a great day to come to the zoo at no cost. Nice. And when you say Valentine's enrichments, does that mean the animals get a little, some, some treats of some their treats own? Some treats or um, some fun thing to play with to keep them nice. mentally stimulated. So it depends on what the species is. It might be a big perfume box for the cats or something with some treats in it for the primates. Okay. And Shona, what would be a treat for a skunk as far as food or a toy? Uh, he likes bugs. Bugs. Okay. Crickets, mealworms. He likes eggs. Mmm. That's what's for <laughs> breakfast, everybody. It's going to be awesome, isn't it, Figaro? He's just chilling. Is he He's going to fall asleep. Is he? Oh, he really is. His eyes are closed, huh? Look at that. Hey, buddy. Hey, our show's not that boring, okay? <laughs> We're glad that you're on it. We're going to talk more about Figaro coming up in the 7 o'clock hour. Is that cool with you gals? Yes. Because he's, he's so fascinating. We love having him here.